Hmm, time to put this civil war thing to an end. But who do I choose? Empire or Stormcloaks? Stormcloaks or Empire? Well, there's only one sensible choice. And yes, there is only one choice, and that's the Empire. I'm... You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made Helgen it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. I can handle anything you throw at me. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. What's that Fort Haragstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Consider that fort already yours. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make So how's it going? Good to have you back. So here we are, it's time to put this civil war to bed. Now in all the time we've played Skyrim, I've never done this storyline, so I've decided to do uh, blind playthroughs in preparation for an idea I've had, where because I get uh, so such little time to actually play games for myself these days, I'm going to do a blind playthrough section on this channel, starting with a massive backlog in my Steam library. So yeah, I thought this would be a great opportunity to see how it'll all work out. Now, for those of you who thought that I should go with the Stormcloaks, well... Okay, glad we got that all cleared up, and uh, let's uh, have a little look and see where we've got to go. Uh, ah, yeah, it's not too far, so we've got somewhere close to it. And here we are. Looks absolutely beautiful actually, the lighting is really great. Sometimes this game is fantastic. Okay. I'm gathering at my level, I'm going to have some decent levelled uh, bandits in here, so uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. Uh, which way do we go up? Oh, they started a fight with someone already. That's the problem with my little death crew. They're um, they're just up for a fight at any stage. No. Okay. All's good in the hood. And I'm wearing my new ultimate in-game armor, so uh, I've done a video on that. To uh, so really watch that. It's it's pretty good. It's very dry, and uh, but it goes into great detail how you can ultimately get the best armor and what you have to do to get it. There's actually quite a lot to do, uh, believe it or not. Uh, certain black books and quests and uh, that you need to do. Uh, let's not get around there. I need a horse to get up that little bit of rock. Okay. Ah, here we are. Yeah, well, honestly, the armor is actually fantastic. And my bow, for example, has got 1400 damage on it. Absolutely insane. There you go. Oh, right in the head. <laughs> 
Oh, three times. The problem with the bow is, though, it's, it's a, honestly, it's awesome uh, power-wise, but it's not a fast um, drawing bow like um, Ruin's Edge or, or a bound bow. But, uh, yeah, nothing stands up to it. It's, it's a one-shot wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yep, in go the death crew. I'll let them do that while I rob the uh, highwayman. highwayman. Gold. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Yep, yep. Okay, I think that's pretty well clear. There's someone over there. Where are you? Yeah, I've given Genesis the uh, Sanguine Rose so we can get another Dramora Lord into the fight. Yeah, oh, poor chap. Didn't stand a chance. Okay. <laughs> Look at him go. That Serana and the mum. <laughs> Honestly, the death crew are brilliant. Oh, that's her thrall, obviously. And uh, nothing in there. Uh, okay, what you got? 50 gold lockpick, nom nom. Open arrows. Oh, I'll take those. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got to make up some armour for the uh, the death crew now. They'll all be getting probably storeroom armour, I think, because if you're going to make the ultimate armour, it's got it's got to be storeroom. Uh, with its inherent effects, and the other uh, weapons definitely have to be storing combined with the chaos enchantment. So, uh, yeah, I would, uh, yeah, it has to be that. The problem is, it makes them ridiculously OP, though. Okay. Right. Okay, I think I'd do this on my own. Wait there. Come on. What? That it? Can I help you? Yeah, it keeps on doing that on occasions, Go actually. On ahead. I'll stand guard. Now, Valerica, can you wait you here, please? That I, can. I see. Thank you very much. Actually, other two, I prefer her as um, a follower rather than Serana. Oh, I do like Serana's dialogue. Maybe I'll stop being a stealth archer now. I might go one-handed. A little bit of sneaky, a little bit of invisibility. And, uh, yeah, why not? Make a change. Just mix it up. Actually, doing this this way is um, really good for me to uh, get ready for starting to live stream, which I hope to do quite soon. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot to get Serana to wait outside. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't so stealthy. I've got to get uh, back in practice. Just you and me against the world now. Yes, yeah, just you and me. Yeah. All right then. Okay, it's just me, not you and me. It's all about me. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, I'm not used to doing this anymore, especially in third person. I'm not getting my distances right. There you go. That'll do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got a mod installed where I pick up different types of armour. They're just basically uh, remeshed. 
Okay. Right, let's have a little hunt around. I don't know why, because I have lots of money. Oh, chest. That's a uh, pretty rubbish loot. Okay. What you got on you? Yep, pay your dues and you've got nothing. No, I got that. Ooh, another chest. I'm not going to bother massively looting anymore. Um, I'll pick stuff up as I go through. If I do a proper, proper walkthrough, then I'll show every single chest. But uh, in this kind of thing, probably not. Gold 53, and that's pretty rubbish. But we'll take it anyway. Ringmail armour. Yeah. Does that look alright? That looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll take that. Nom nom. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I did ask Serana to wait. Right, okay. Where's Cedric gone? Oh. Lost bloody Cedric again. He's been disappearing on me quite a lot recently. Here we go. Yeah. Let's dual wield. It's like we're not messing him up but enough as it is. <laughs> Good night. Oh, brilliant stuff. Seriously, guys, watch that video. <laughs> you can get it fairly early. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Okay. And nope. And what we got here? Gold 44, three lock picks. Which piece of the better? Uh, clay shore heavy armour? No, I don't need that. Yeah, take those though. Brief history of the empire, nothing else. And I don't think anything else down here. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything else down here. Okay, let's go back. I'm probably missing something, I'm sure I am. Ah oh, well, doesn't matter. Let's uh let's jog on back. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? Actually the poor sauce didn't stand a chance really, did they? Okay, no more enemies. Aldrin hasn't cleared. I think we have one left. Where are you? Where are you? It's up in the tower. Okay. How do we get up here? Good night. That's it, that's it, job done. All class arrows, nom nom. Uh, that'll do. So, while well, we were massacring her friends, um, she just uh, stayed up there and did nothing. Yeah, play. And we. Bonk. I 
I thought that was Cedric for a minute. Where is the little bugger? Oh, I don't have to say, I'm going to have to go back to the first meet hall to pick him up again. Okay, let's just go back in a way we can find him later. I know some of you guys don't actually like having followers. Um, oh, damn it, I've left bloody uh, Valerica and uh, Jenissa back there. I'll pick them up later. At least Cedric's back. Yeah, I know some of you guys don't actually like having followers, but I kind of like it. It gives me an extra bit of a dimension to gameplay because I have to think about them all the time. You know, so, uh, yeah, I like it. It makes the game a little bit more interesting for me. Oh, uh, let's go and see the legate. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. If Ulfric gets Get out of the way. On that path, How rude. It won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Are you prepared to make that commitment? I'm ready to take the oath. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. Upon my and honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, to the Titus Mead II. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great judgment, empire. And those below take me if I fail in my duty. May those above judge me and those below take me if I fail in my Long duty. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Welcome Empire. The Imperial Legion That's just for you stormcloaks out there. Just remember, <laughs> we take care of our own. <laughs> Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. Okay, that's it. We've joined the Legion. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought Welcome the moon meets okay. the king. Listen up. We're backing Ellison. When the mood meets, they'll do the sensible thing. And we're starting the Jacket Crown quest. Loot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sent. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Yeah, come on. Listen up. Come on. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Okay. Right, so that's it. That's uh, this is actually quite a good one because there's a werewolf in there which I want to get the oh, shout for, which is a slow a time shout, uh, and that's definitely worth getting. I think I've only got one in that, uh, and it's a shout that I will use quite a lot. So anyway, what we do is we pop round here and get some armor. Now I do love the way that I'm uh, Dragonborn, savior of, of all mankind, and uh, I still have to join the Legion as a bog standard auxiliary uh, legionnaire. So uh, yay! Gotta love Skyrim, haven't you? Yeah, I better go and pick up these couple of reprobates and uh, come to the end of the video, guys. And all I've got to say is, long live the Empire. And see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.